Cool. Hey, how are you? Um, good, good. Uh, so, what are you going to show us here? I'm going to show you um, some uh, printed temperature sensors. What oh, no, we have here is uh, an array of uh, printed temperature sensors made of silicon. And I'm going to put some hot water down on here. And you see the temperature readout on the, on the tablet. Red for hot, blue for cold. So what do you mean when it's printed? I mean that uh, <laughs> here these are these are layers of silicon that's been screen printed onto onto in this case paper. And also get rid of the air. Oh, can we touch it? So you don't introduce air? Uh, yes, well, yes, you can. One? Oh yeah. Okay. It's very thin. Also, the more is a size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This will be the smallest, about two grams. Um, okay. Unless you try to go in a syringe. Syringe. Yes, we got. I will go and get one. So our technology can be printed in uh, in various form factors on on various substrates. Here, this is on a on a thin layer of PET. Yeah, it's, it's very thin. It's the silicon on top of silver. And again, this is an array of, of sensors, and it, it can be combined into. So each dot is a sensor here. Yes, yes. Every everywhere you see black, that's an individual thermistor. And then here, these are other forms. These are these are simple thermistors, whereas these ones are thermistors combined with with uh, fixed resistors. So this is actually a voltage divider. Okay. So where, this can be used in what kind of application? So anywhere where you need to measure the temperature over a large area or some place where where the device uh, needs to be conformable or can be applied to any kind of a, a curved surface. What's the difference with any other kind of uh, temperature sensor? Is that because it's just flat and flexible? Well, traditional temperature sensors are, are uh, rather difficult to make good thermal contact with, uh, with, with, with something. So the, the, even the bead thermistors are round, it's hard to get them into a flat contact, or, or it's hard to measure over a large area, say. Here we can measure temperature over a large area. Do you think this is uh, do you think this is good for wearables? So I'm just gonna mix it for a minute. Wearables? Okay, yes, stop yeah. and show you all the Absolutely. The small small devices can be can be placed into into something like a like a watch or a fitness band. Or even a, even a big one you can wrap around the body or yes, yes, that's, yeah. that's possible. Yeah. Yeah. Okay.